Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with me, Chef Harry. Today, I'm going to share one of my signature recipes using this leaf. This leaf we call in Indonesia we call salam koja or curry leaves. This leaf it has a good benefit as an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and many more, of course. This is the first ever sambal that using this particular ingredients. Of course, it will combine with uh, other ingredients. But before we start, let me share a little bit story behind the sambal koja. When we talk about sambal, Indonesia has many varieties of sambals within 34 provinces. Wherever we go, sambal can create a lasting memories from the taste of flavor. For example, from Bali, sambal mata, from Tapanuli or North Matra, sambal anariman, and many more. From the name of the sambal, right away we can imagine of the flavor. From that experience, I got an idea to create a new flavor or new taste of sambal that is unique and unforgettable. It's one for all sambal. It's a multifunctional as a sambal as well as a cooking seasoning. The main ingredients is the koja leaf or the salam koja. But after that, before that, uh, here I got some uh, already blend or chop, very fine chop. The nut, we call it pate. Yeah, this is a whole one. I got uh, some mints here, and uh, we have a uh, candle nuts, garlic, shrimp paste, shallots, tomato. Got some onions here, palm sugar a little bit. Got three type of chili actually. I have a uh, red chili, large red chili. We have butter eye red chili and the curly red chilies. Of course, some uh, we finish up with some uh, limo lime and seasoning with salt. Okay, so let's start cooking. First, heat up the oil to the medium heat, add the shallots and saute for a while. Add in some garlic, some onions, then add some candle nuts. Then add some chopped red chilies, curly red chilies, and followed by the uh, bird's eye red chilies. Keep stir until soft before adding the tomato. Here is the main ingredients, the salam koja leaves or the curry leaves. Add the shrimp paste. Keep saute until soft before putting into the blender. Put all the ingredients into the blender and then puree until it becomes a smooth paste. After blending all the ingredients, the next step is Next step, saute the chopped curry leaves until soft and fragrant. Then add in the chopped bitter beans.
keep stir until all well combined. After slow cooking, the color of the sambal is now turned a little bit darker. It comes from the salam koja or curry leaves. Now, cool it down first before we put it into the jar. And next, I'm going to make a chicken kujong with sambal koja mayo. Okay, as you can see here, the sambal koja already packed in a jar. Later, I'm going to keep it in the fridge. But now I'm going to make a simple, easy to make, and we call chicken kujong. Okay, chicken kujong is a um, uh, deep fried, a small strip of fillet of chicken or fish that is coated with flour, egg, and breadcrumb. Literally mean a chicken finger. And after that, we're going to serve with some um, sambal koja mayo. Okay, let's try. First, we're going to season first with salt and pepper. Chicken kujong with sambal koja mayo, it's done. 
Mm. The crispy texture from the chicken kujong, the light spicy and aromatic from the koja mayo, it's a perfect combination. Basically, this sambal, it's one for all sambal as well as cooking seasoning. But what I want to highlight is that this sambal is very unique in terms of flavor, can go well with any other dishes. For example, fish and chips, fried rice, burger or sliders, or even perfect for pasta or grillio. So, now you can try it at home. Mm. I hope you enjoy. We'll see you soon. Sampai jumpa.